Okay, so now let's get to the main point, which is the thing I'm always emphasizing. People want to see your main point. People really do not want to be watching a long presentation that goes on and on and on and has no main point. I am a huge advocate, always believe in get to your main point as soon as possible. Help your audience see your main point as quickly as you can. Keep them interested with the main point and then repeat the main point throughout the presentation so that when they leave, they remember the main point. Otherwise, it's easy to forget. Once you have an idea of your topic and your audience, now you need to focus on what's your main point going to be. So this is the planning of your main point. Now, of course, it could depend on your audience and it could depend, of course, on your topic. But you do need to think clearly. What is the main point you want people to remember? What is it when they leave they're going to remember inside their brain? The main point can be summed up in a single sentence that is easy to understand and easy to state. This is something that is not easy to do. It's easy to say, but it's not easy to do. So you need to think before your presentation, when I finish my presentation, what is the one main point I want this audience to remember? And you need to make that point in a single sentence, very clear. So you need to write it down, remind yourself what it is. Because if you don't know the main point, then your audience will not know the main point. A main point gets attention from the very beginning of the presentation. And it should be easy for you to speak clearly. It should be smooth and comfortable for you to say what is your main point. This is something that many presentations get wrong. Many presentations just talk and talk and talk and talk and go on and on and on and on. And when they're finished, people are left thinking, well, I guess that was interesting, but what was the main point? What is it that they were saying? Don't really quite know. That is actually very normal, very common, but it's very frustrating to think about go on and on and on. What I'm saying is, before you even make your presentation, before you make your slides, before you do anything, first understand your audience, then understand your main point. What is your main point going to be? And it needs to be a sentence. You need to fit it into a single, easy to understand sentence. If you don't do that, then I don't think your presentation has a chance to be successful. And if you do do that, and you do it very well, then your presentation will be much easier to be interesting, much easier to be successful, because you will know the main point. So let's take a look at how to make your clear main points. It sounds like it should be easy, right? But I know it's not so easy. Here's an example. New orders will raise profits in the coming year. Why is this a clear main point? Well, because it has a very easy to see subject, new orders, and what will they do? Raise profits. And when will they do it? The coming year. Nice, short, easy to understand. If you said this at the beginning of the presentation, everyone will know that your presentation is going to explain this. It's going to show why this is true. It's going to talk about the new orders. So that makes sense. Here's more of a research idea. Research results show students who read at least two English books a semester improve grammar skill faster than students who read no English books. So here, this is a research kind of presentation. And at the very beginning, we're saying this is the main finding. Now we're going to explain how we have that finding. We're going to give more details about it. What I like about this is it makes it very clear that we have results, and those results are going to show something. And what is it they show? 
they show that these students compared to students who read no books. So it's a bit of a long sentence, certainly longer than the first one. This one's very short and this one is very long, but that tends to be normal for research, right? Very often we have research sentences tend to be longer. So you need to be very careful about that. Try to keep them as short as possible. But again, I do like this because it makes it clear at the very beginning of my presentation, I'm going to tell you what my results are going to be, my finding, my main point. Here's a really good one. Competition will increase, but new products and services will help our company improve results and raise stock value. So here we're talking about competition and then we're going to have new products and services and what will they do? They're going to improve results and raise the stock value. So now my presentation is going to talk about these details. I'm going to talk about competition, I'm going to talk about the new products, I'm going to talk about how we're going to make more money from it and how our stock value is going to increase from it. So at the very beginning of my presentation, I can use this to make my main point. Here's another company example. Procter & Gamble's products are important in many parts of consumers' lives, from beauty products to snack food. So of course here we're talking about our, com our company or maybe another company. And we say that this presentation I'm going to talk about how important it is to our consumers and I'm going to present beauty products all the way to snack food. So I'm going to have a range of products I'm going to talk about. So right here you can see my presentation is going to be about this range of products. So that makes it very easy for the audience to follow. 